Hello everyone, I am so excited for you to see this episode and Machinima intro. Before we begin, I just want to go over quickly the story post that I posted right before this episode came out. If you've already seen these story posts, you are welcome to skip to the time code on the screen. I'm just going to go over the important parts of this, but basically this went into detail what we saw of the gameplay in the last episode. So in the story post, we saw the tension with Sayori and Araminta right before they met Tozi and Gabor. We saw Gabor was already kind of on edge when he saw Zayori's face. He was very intimidated by her. We saw Airman to ask Zayori to smile and to fix her face. Sayori was giving her sass, saying if she wanted this meeting to go well, she should have had Mamie go there instead. Araminta just said that she simply wanted Zayori to smile, but because Zayori was feeling so sassy, she gave a very forced, on edge, awkward smile when she met Gabor and the Latwani, which made Gabor feel more uncomfortable that he already was. Meanwhile, we saw Lord Taesu talking to Zayori's cousin, Prince Kaito, in the corner. Taesu saw this interaction with Gabor and was very enamored by Zayori, asking Kaito who that was since it had been so long since he had seen her. Kaito was like, are you serious? She punched you. When Taesu realized who she was, he clearly thought she was still very, very attractive. Kaito could tell that Taesu was going to go talk to her. He said, don't even think about it. She hates you because he knows his cousin well. Taesu did not believe him and despite his warnings still tried to go catch Sayori before she went into the banquet hall which begins the start of our Machinima intro. and welcome back to another episode of the royal family so today i'm very excited because we are having molly grace and graham's royal wedding today it's going to be a beautiful royal garden wedding and i'm really really excited and then we are going to talk about the machinima we will see the world the kingdom of enamorata um, because we're going to have the guangxi family visit and sort of get a tour and then we'll kind of find out more details about sayori and Gabor and Rin and all of that stuff. So I'm really, really excited for that. And we'll talk about the machinima that you guys just saw around when we do that as well. So people are arriving for Molly Grace and Graham's royal wedding. I decided to have it at the garden. So Victoria, she built the Tartosa Palaces, the Salvadorana Palace, the Sulani Palace, all of that stuff. So she built a little royal garden party venue for the Tartosa royal family. 
and I decided to use it as a wedding venue. I think Molly Grace and Graham would kind of want, I think Graham maybe wanted a little bit more of a smaller wedding. So they kind of are meeting in the middle. I think Graham's like dream was to just kind of like almost an elopement. I'm like, just like, we're not doing that. <laughs> that is not happening. So there's sort of meeting in the middle here, but I'm very excited for the people who are, oh my gosh, Eloise, Lady Eloise. Okay, well, hold on. People are not dressed in the outfits that I told them to. Lady Eloise showed up in her wedding dress. If you guys remember from season two. Also, I kind of recommend keeping up the Royal Family Fandom Wiki. I will link that below. I recommend having that out during a lot of episodes. But Eloise is married to her cousin Winston, Molly Grace and Frederick's cousin Winston. They never like each other. Like, look, look, look at, hold on, look at this. They're like almost enemies. Nothing has really changed over the years. So that's interesting. Molly Grace is talking to her, her brother Frederick. I'm so excited for this. I am excited because we are going to have a lot of proposals after. After this, probably the next episode will have a lot of proposals happening. So definitely get ready for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So we have Cedric here. This is Cedric's new look, by the way, a close up. I'm going to change him. I have picked an outfit that you guys might have seen in the beginning. I just think this suits him so, so well. And I feel like it's actually good for this wedding because this wedding is not as formal, a little bit more semi-formal. Also, Genevieve might have her baby at this wedding. She literally might go into labor during this wedding. So I'm really excited for that. But her bows are floating and I don't know why. And then we have Jabari. We have Molly Grace's aunt, Marchioness Ezra. She's here. So the three daughters of Princess Anna of Windenburg was Ezra. She's the oldest. Oh, oh, Sadira, you're beautiful. I might change you to something less formal though. But Sadira, she was the youngest. And then Aurora, who is the middle child who is married to Duke Kona. All right, Sadira, let's change you here. We also have have Kanda here. So Molly Grace and Kanda, if you guys remember, I'll have I'll have them greet. But well, why don't you why don't you greet your cousin? I think it's funny that you and your cousin do still kind of have like a friendly relationship, but you hate his wife. Ask about hobbies and skills, sure. Jessica and Cedric are talking over here. Um, what was I going to do? Oh no, Sadir's crown. Sadir's crown is floating. I thought this outfit would be really good for her though. So there's no wedding party. I wanna share some Spanish traditions for you guys for the wedding that they do in Spain. Someone on my stream shared a few. Let's go, okay, this is pretty formal, but she's the queen and her daughter's getting married, so I think that's fine. She looks freaking gorgeous, I love her. We have Nani here, and then, yeah, Kellen, Frederick, Caspian. Some of you guys wanted a closer look at Caspian. Wait, no, didn't I give you guys a closer look at the last episode, <laughs> but that's Caspian. Um, and then, oh, oh, Kanda, that's who I was talking about. Kanda and Molly Grace, they didn't like each other that much in Academic Adventure. Oh, her and Eloise are wearing the same color. But she didn't like her that much in Academic Adventures. I want to be all for, you know, the, well, let's see, Goss. I think they could be good friends. I want to be for the, like, women supporting women, that kind of thing. But Molly Grace is just so petty sometimes <laughs> that I'm like, would she be though? I'm sure when Kanda and William started dating too, Molly Grace got kind of protective because William's like a brother to her. We also do have Graham's parents here. So this is Graham's mother, Samantha. So Graham's dad was the former prime minister of Windenburg. Graham's mother loves Molly Grace, like absolutely adores her to the max. They're besties, they love each other, like they're just absolutely love each other. Make joke about marriage. Do you want to do that on your wedding day? I mean, sh sure, sure, I guess why not? And then we also have Graham's dad is here as well. Wait, no, that's Graham. Oh gosh, y'all look too similar. Okay, except that he's blonde, so they don't really. Okay, friendly. <laughs> well, let's do affection, hug lovingly on your wedding day. I'm so excited. Okay, we will have time to socialize in a second, but let's do the wedding. I think it's a good time to start and then we can party after that. So yeah, no bridal party. We are, I will read off some traditions in just a moment. Okay, I also, someone recommended in the last video that I needed the Steady Sims mod, Steady, steady Seated Sims, something like that. Seat Sims here, do I have to like, 
Oh, can I wait? Oh, oh my god, I can tell everybody to sit. <gasps> Hold on. I can tell everyone to sit down. Wait, this is great. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm this is going to be such a game changer if this oh, yeah, wait, you your wait. Okay. Yeah, you're not supposed to be. You're 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 walking your daughter down the aisle. Did I invite Lady Harper or Rosalind? I don't think I did. Oh no, I can't get anyone else to sit. Okay, well, let, let's see what happens here and then maybe seat sims here. Anyone else who didn't get seated? Oh, my bad. I don't think Jessica and Frederick are sitting next to each other. Okay, we're just gonna seat you all and hopefully they sit down. Oh my gosh, they're sitting. Wait, no, not every- wait, wait. Oh my god, you guys, they're sitting. They're sitting. They're- every- almost every single one of them are sitting down. <gasps> My mind is blown. What the hell? Oh my god, let's let's do more. Let's have more people sit. <laughs> Who's not sitting right now? This is insane. This is so wait, Gilbert! Why is Gilbert here? I didn't invite Gilbert! Well, he's he's sitting at the at the wedding, apparently. Okay, are more people gonna sit? Oh my god, they're all sitting. No, the paparazzi is here, or maybe it's a wedding photographer. Maybe it's a wedding. Well, you know what? I'm the wedding photographer. Get out. Oh my god, you guys, they all sat down! Eloise, except for Eloise. Jessica is gathering impatiently. What the heck? No, Eloise. He's also okay. All right, we're we're starting. We are going to start. Let's have this wedding begin. Okay, here we go. Graham's about to walk down the aisle. Oh my gosh, everyone. This pack. Okay, okay, there we go. Graham's walking down. He's so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no, Graham, where are you going? <laughs> Did you get cold feet? Wait, what the heck? Graham, come back, come back, come back, come back. Wait, 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 wait. Hello, where? Sir, he's like, I need a, oh my God, he's asking for a drink. Oh my God, does he get, is he getting cold feet? Like for real, okay, there's children in the aisle right now. Is he getting cold feet? Should Caspian go talk to him? Do we need to have a talk? Do we need to have a heart to heart? You guys are bros, you guys are besties. Deep thoughts. Let's ask about your love life. What is going on? Okay, you're shaking hands. Congratulate. Don't make a joke about marriage. That, that's me. Well, I don't, no, no, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Friendly, deep thoughts, give relationship advice. Let's keep it like, does he like small talk? Not, no, not really. Hey, and news about upcoming wedding. This is really exciting. You and Molly Grace have been engaged for like how many years? Wait, what? Wait, what does that say? Graham just had his first experience understanding a positive or resilient romantic outlook. With enough of these kinds of experiences, Sims can develop romantic sage trait as he already passed his impressionable form formative years, this trait will be slightly harder for Graham to develop. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. I, well, Cas Caspian, I guess, convinced him and understood him. So are, are we ready? Are we ready to have this wedding now? Okay. I, I think we're good. All right, Graham. I'm gonna walk you down the aisle here. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're starting now. He's walking down the aisle. All is good. Play, things are going according to plan. Okay, here. Oh my god! What the hell? You guys, a robot freaking showed up! Why can't I click on it or do anything to it? Fan? It's a fan? Oh my god, get out! Okay, here we go. Molly Grace is being walked out the aisle by King Johan. Oh, so sweet. Oh my gosh, okay, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time. Get married to Princess Molly Grace. Uh, Johan, I'm gonna need you to sit down now, though. Steady sit. Oh, wow. Time. Oh, oh, they're getting married and I'm missing it. Hold on. Oh my gosh, yay. Oh, so sweet, so sweet. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. I wanna, I wanna... I'm gonna read the, the, the traditions. Okay, so while they're getting married, I wanna share a few things. Also, thank you to 100 for sharing some of these. I also looked up some of these as well. So I did mention no wedding party. You typically won't find bridesmaids or groomsmen at a wedding in Spain. And then there's a lot of orange blossoms. There's this, the smell of an orange blossom tree around every corner. There's gold coins, which I will talk about in just a moment. I have like a little box I wanna show you guys for that. They also serve a lot of paella and seafood. That is a huge thing. I actually just had a lot of like food from Spain too the other day and it's delicious. So much seafood. I love seafood. 
And then cutting up the groom's tie. So during some Spanish weddings today, the groom's friends will take scissors and chop up his tie, then sell the pieces to guests to raise more money for the couple. I love that. I don't think that is something they're worried about. <laughs> they, they do have a lot of, oh my God, it's 9 p.m. already? Oh my God, time went by literally so fast, but that's okay, because it's time to party now. Oh my gosh, some of the guests are still sitting too. I love that. Look at, look at Sadira with, with Frederick. This is so sweet. They're just chatting. Can Candace in the front row. I don't think she's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, let's start the party. So we're going to have them serve a, so well, well, so serve food. So we want, a lot of seafood, ceviche and shit. Wait, is that one of the only things I can sell? I want to sell an assortment. Oh my God, William's ex is here. I feel like if someone just heard that and didn't see my video, they'd be like, which one? <laughs> okay, so now we have the the coin box that I'm saying is, is going to work as the coin box. So history about this for weddings. Okay, so gold coins. Um, the bride and groom share 13 coins known as aras or unity coins. The meaning of the coins varies a bit from culture to culture, but in general, they symbolize good fortune for the marriage ahead. And it, it's also kept in this, this beautiful box at the weddings too. So that's another one. And then let's, oh, are some people still sitting? Let's have, okay, people are, people are partying, getting drinks. What the heck? Is this why can't I make this robot leave? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, okay. And then other wedding traditions, engagement ring goes on the right ring finger of the left hand when the wedding ring goes on the right hand. Food is really important, socializing around food. A wedding has many food courses. So those are just some Spanish wedding traditions that 100 shared and also that I found on the internet. So now we're dancing around Kellen, but let's cut cake first and then we'll have the first dance. Let's have guests sit for now. So I'm gonna have the, the steady, why are there so so many random people here, literally. So many randos, I don't know what is going on. Oh my God, people are sitting, you guys, people are sitting. I'm so giddy about this. I cannot believe this is a thing. Look, it's the friend group sitting together. Okay, I love this. Frederick might be helping with some things, but like, look, Alice May, Caspian, Nani. Oh, no, there's not another spot for Malia, crap. Kanda, William, Jessica, oh my gosh. Oh, we need just like one more chair, maybe a couple more chairs, two more chairs, I think. I love that, I love, wait, I can make people sit together. I'm so happy right now, I am so happy. Okay, let's cut cake. All right, we're gonna inscribe the wedding topper. Who is getting married? Is this gonna be too long? Molly, Grace. And Graham had a special message here. Okay, I am, I got this phrase from the internet. It means like basically I hope you two are very happy for the rest of your life. Cut cake with Graham. Cake must be on a dining table. Are you serious? I literally, are you serious? Okay, problem solved. Cut cake with Graham. Let's do this. Oh, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. Je okay, Jessica's screaming around them. That's a, that's a very Jessica thing to do. So that's okay. Okay, we are gonna cut the cake. Or maybe I should be facing the other way. There we go. There we go. People are gathered. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, I think I heard. Oh. <laughs> He's like my wife. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, feed cake to. Go Wait, no. <laughs> Drink <gasps> Eloise. <laughs> well, people already took their cake. That's totally fine. Why are they looking at each other and breathing so heavily? They're breathing in sync. Oh my god, Genevieve's in labor. No, Genevieve, you gotta put the cake. And she's like, wait, I wanna eat my slice of cake first before I'm about to go into labor. Where's your husband? Where's John? Jonathan, John. I don't know that your name's not Jonathan, but John, I, I need you. Oh my god, you and William are wearing the same suit. And you both have glasses and brown hair. All right, someone's gotta change. I think someone's leaving because a baby is being born. Ask baby's due date. It's She's in labor. She's in labor. No one is, no, okay, have baby at the hospital. All right, okay. Well, you guys, uh, yeah, sorry, y'all Y'all have to go alone. John, please go with her. I hope he go. okay, he's going, he's going. We're all good. Okay, let's have the first dance for Molly Grace and Graham. So we're gonna do a romantic first dance here. So we have the ones like with the, so have first dance with Graham. 
I also have the ballroom dancing mod. So that can be used for other dances, but I want like the first dance to be the one from the game. Oh, Graham, that's not gonna be your first. Okay, there we go. Why can't I have them, like anyone gather for anything? Oh, cute. Is that it? Wait, are you serious? That was it? <laughs> Okay, well, we will we will do a couple dance. I just did a mod review on the Grand Balls, the new update that was added to the Royalty mod, which I highly recommend checking out. But it also kind of includes the couple dance, so we are going to have an intimate slow dance. If you wanna see the mod review, I'll link it. Still a robot in the background, it needs to leave. Y'all, I accidentally added the freaking robot to the family. Why can't I delete it? In the future, it needs to be gone. At least now I can control it and kind of tell it to Okay, first dance is happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I saw, I think I just saw Koda take a selfie with his arm coming into the side. Oh my god. I love. Okay, all right. Okay, now everyone can dance. Everyone can come dance except for the robot. The robot's gotta go. I need to figure out how to delete that thing. Why won't it delete? MC Command. Oh, they're dancing again. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Oh my god, does any other couples want to dance? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Look, look, look at all this. Look at this. Look at our, our, our former teen group all, all dancing together. I love this. Oh my god. I, I can't. Hold <laughs> on. This is too much for me to handle. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, you can still see the scars on her back from the car accident. Oh my gosh, I'm, I, I am, I am obsessed. I am obsessed. Oh, look at William and Kanda. I love this, I love this. I'm sorry, this is, y'all need this mod. I'm so serious, you guys need this mod. I, I think someone said you have to be careful because occasionally it'll like, I, I think the, my creator can't always update it as, as often, so they said just be careful, but yeah, this mod is, is very much worth it, like so, so worth it. Oh my God, okay, the sun is coming up. Wait, what? I'm feeling very unsatisfied in our relationship. If you are mean to me while I feel this way, I may have to break up with you. This is not the, I, this is your sister's wedding. I feel like now is not the time. Romantic satisfaction reflects how fulfilled a sim is in a relationship. Do I need to read this lesson? Are we like, can, can I just figure it out on my own? What is happening? Romantic satisfaction begins. Lady Jessica and Frederick have a strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. High romantic satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationship easier. Low romantic satisfaction will make maintaining relationship more difficult. What? Wait, what? Oh my god, Frederick is ang- Oh, 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 he's not having a good- Whoa, 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 wait. Oh my god, he's having a horrible time at his sister's wedding? Drifting love. Again? Uninterested soulmate, what the heck? What ha- Oh my god, Frederick is literally stomping around. Y'all, I'm so- There's a robot here, this is a happening in woman, I don't- what? What is this way? Oh my god, you're finally having your baby. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, we don't get to name the baby. Duchess Genevieve has checked out of the hospital and is doing well. The baby's at home resting. What would you like to do? Wait, no, let's see. Let's see. What did she have? What did she have? Oh my god, she had a boy! We are gonna re- Can I not rename the baby? Okay, based on the poll that won for my patrons a while ago, if they had a boy, this is Lord Elliot. Ignore Justin. This is Lord Elliot, their baby boy. I'm excited. Okay, what? Oh my god! Did you guys just see Jessica give that guy a ro- Who the hell is this? The mixologist? Oh my god, Jessica, stop! What the heck? That's why Frederick was getting so mad. It wasn't like a one-time flirt. Look at this romance spot. What the heck? Oh my God, oh my God. Jessica, stop talking to this guy. Stop talking to him. She literally won't. Jessica, stop. Y'all, what do we do? They're supposed to get engaged soon. Frederick, do you want to confront her? Relationship, they can't propose. You don't have a high enough romance. <gasps> No! Oh my god, it went down so much. Ask for Cupid's counseling. Should they go to couples counseling? Other Sims. Ask about another Sim. Yeah. Be like, who the hell? 
is who even was that where is he what oh my god he's not showing up here he's not showing up here i don't think we could ask about him we should continue that in another this has honestly gotten so long already it's already 7 a.m this wedding started over 12 hours ago we still we still have other things to get to i'm gonna have to come back to the frederick and jessica thing i guess we're gonna have to have a talk they're literally i their engagement was not supposed to be the next episode but like the one after that Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, we we really need to move on. This is, this is taking a while. But yeah, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments and we're gonna move on to Anna Murata. All right, so we are leaving the drama to come back to some possibly other drama. So we have our Guangxi royal family. They are meeting the royal family of Anna Murata as like a tour. So Latwani Tozi, she offered to give them a grand tour of Anna Murata. So I thought this would be a good time for us to see the space and everything as well. I also did want to show you guys their flag. So I hadn't gone over the kingdom's colors or flags yet. So their colors are red and green. Their flag is this one I'm showing on the screen right now. This was also made by Lord Crumbs. Lord Crumbs made our other flags as well. And it is just absolutely amazing. So he's working on making the in-game flags for the game. I, I did have people asking if they are going to be part of the Alliance. Honestly, I feel like it, it would be realistic that maybe some of the kingdoms are a little bit nervous because it is a kingdom that switches royal families every eight years. So maybe they're like, but like, we don't know who the other royal families are gonna be. Like, what if they decide to break the alliance? Like, there's all of these things. But Araminta has been pushing for, well, well, we'll talk about this, but she's been pushing Zayori with the Gabor for multiple reasons. Okay, so I, oh my God, Araminta, Araminta and Zayori are getting into a argument right now. So Han should actually know the family already, but I wanna make sure that we actually get to know them here. Funny introduction, would Han do a funny introduction for her? I'm not 100% sure. We'll do a respectful introduction. Oh my God, Araminta is yelling at Zayori. I feel like, oh my God, they're already good friends. That was really fast. I feel like Zayori snuck the combat boots on, y'all. I really feel like she did. I feel like Araminta, had specific shoes she wanted her to wear to this i already is like i'm literally wearing the dress you told me to wear what is the big deal i feel like she like stuck them in a bag or something like that and put them on as soon as they got here so araminta like would notice at the last minute and and they would just have to oh my god she's crying <laughs> oh emotional melt oh, oh my god things are not are they having a slow dance well that's oh my oh my gosh y'all look they're like so in love i can imagine the kids being like okay that is oh my gosh they are what is this is always this are they slow dancing with me they're slow dancing with each other in the middle of the street it's like doing push-ups and then did araminta meet it so i really thought she did maybe there was just so much going on in the last episode at the banquet that we didn't really have the time to do this but they they should have already met so they're doing their introductions right now i have no idea where mamie just went also oh Baby is ready to see this world. Oh my god, there's someone swimming in the water that terrified me for a hot sec. Okay, baby, where are you going? I think you power walk around the pond. I think you need to wait for the group. Han needs to come back. I don't know where he went. Sorry if you can hear bubbles jingling. Okay, maybe he's power walking. So, why I'm gonna I'm gonna control the Latwani. We was so this is the castle I have right now as a placeholder. It might change, so I'm I'm gonna avoid doing a, a tour at this very moment. But we will get to see. The rest of the world at least oh my gosh this is beautiful but she's feeling flirty right now so walk around the pond with can we pick oh johan what are you doing here I... okay wait where's her sisters why are they not an option i guess because they're already walking rin's doing sit-ups Mamie's power walking. This is a mess, you guys. Okay, so we saw in the last episode, Gabor has a crush on Rin, which is kind of insane. Some people said like it's giving uh, Mira and May and Johan, but which is funny because we just saw Johan, but it's giving Amira, May, and Johan vibes. Oh my God, maybe change it to a tracksuit. <laughs> Wait, I want the girls to come with too. I don't want to leave them. 
It's okay, we'll all walk around the pond. Walk around the pond. Mamie, walk around the pond. I'm excited to do a hangout with the teens. I think Cambridge and Felix already aged up into teenagers, so we'll have a, a, a teenage hangout sesh soon. Maybe we'll probably be the only one in that, like maybe Rin, but Mamie's the actual outgoing one, so it, it might not be a lot of them. But okay, they're all they're all walking around the pond now, so they're getting a tour of Edamorata, and we're, we're gonna have to kind of see this thing with Gabor. So people said that it gave them Amira, May, and Johan vibes, but here's the question. Does Rin even like him? I'm not sure. While they're doing this, we'll follow the family. We'll kind of see if they get along. I want to see if Gabor is going to try to talk to Rin. Oh, they all get to walk as a group. Here's the thing. I don't think Araminta knows that Gabor likes Rin. So let's first talk about the Mishinima real quick as they're all taking this walk together, which is actually very cute that they're doing this. I think this is adorable. The family's all like getting to know each other and it uh, looks like Latwani Tozi is taking photos. Maybe she likes to do... Oh no, no, she's not taking photos. She's looking through binoculars. Maybe she likes to bird watch in her free time. So they're all they're all walking right now. But yes, so the machinima. So I wanted to play off of the fact that Taesu was playful. Like he was playful when he first started arguing with Sayori in the last episode and then it ended with him being angry and then Sayori was... I, th I think it said like she was the argument winner or, or like triumphant or something like that. So I wanted to kind of play off of that. Um, so that way we could see the d dynamics a bit. Obviously, it, like she doesn't really know how to talk to Gabor. Oh, she's drinking out of- Wait, they can just drink out of a water bottle? Why is that cool to me? That's so basic, but it's cool. So yeah, her and Gabor things are really awkward. I wonder if she knows he might be interested in Rin. I think she knows he's not interested in her and she's telling Araminta that. She's like, I don't, you don't, I, why are you doing this? Someone said maybe Araminta would talk to Louie and Chris Rin because porn used to be such a handful. Okay, so oh, I love that it says listening to group leaders. So they're getting their tour. But yeah, so someone said that Araminta should talk to them. And then I was like, wait, but they would probably tell her that Cornelius let up because he met Ellis. So maybe that's why she's pushing Zyori against people so bad. But there could also be another reason, like they're not officially going to be in alliance with them, but maybe Araminta is trying really hard to have an alliance with them for other reasons. So we'll have to talk about that another time too, but that I think would, would definitely make sense sense. All right, so why don't we have Gabor go talk to Rin? Express admiration. That seems like an innocent enough thing to do. He's got a bit of a crush on her. I don't know if Rin feels the same thing back. If I'm being honest, I don't really know if she's that interested in boys. So we'll have to see. Well, who are you, lady? What are you doing? Vendor. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Just go away. Oh my god, Johan. <laughs> Johan is walking around the pond. Wait, I love this. I love- Wait, Johan, you can't just stop there. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, Gabor is expressing his admiration for Rin. I, I, again, I think that's an innocent enough thing to do. It says his mom is in this conversation. Rave about growing up they actually have a pretty friend like it says they're friends so they they hit it off well him and Zayori have no relationship even though we've tried to get them to talk a lot there is literally nothing there no please don't like fitness and you're just gonna be doing sit-ups all the time maybe why are you in your <laughs> workout outfit. It's a cute jumpsuit, not gonna lie. Where are you going, girl? Oh, she has to introduce herself to Gabor, too. I, I have to make sure they all know each other. But yeah, maybe... Ara oh my god, where's half of... Okay. <laughs> okay, I was like, where's half of her clothes? But yeah, I think Araminta is like trying really hard to have this... Let's see. Well, this deep, deep conversation. To have this alliance. Like, she's thinking ahead for things, you know? It looks like Zyori's doing okay right now. I think because right now the focus isn't really on her. Like, she's getting to talk to her dad. I think Han, he knows Sayori can get uptight about things and, and kind of feels bad. So he's he's kind of there to calm her a bit if he can. But yeah, Sayori's doing okay. I, I She's feeling very energized. I think it's because her parents are doing most of the talking. But people asked, well, if Sayori's the heir, would she not, wouldn't she not want to be the heir if she doesn't like all eyes on her? She, she gets self-conscious when people look at her. She gets like, 
you know, all the good, okay, there's a group conversation going on here, but she gets self-conscious when people look at her for too long. It's a result of her being bullied. Could this mean Gabor likes deception? Maybe he likes a little bit of mischief. Maybe his sister and him play pranks on each other. Mamie's got a good reputation. Her reputation now precedes her. Oh yeah, but like, Zyori doesn't like to be stared at for too long because she thinks people are judging her. Like, you know, not only is she just a teenager who has insecurities, it's a very common thing to like care a lot about what people think, especially when you're a teenager, but also she has been bullied growing up. She's really self-conscious about her eye. Her hair is either like, always parted on the side where her green eye is or like she'll have a piece of hair in front of it she does that on purpose to try to hide it obviously doesn't hide it completely but like in a way you know but yeah she's the heir and i don't think she wants to be i don't even know if she like really wants to be empress when she grows up but she doesn't have a choice it's not that easy and that's why i like playing with royal sims it keeps things interesting for me because there's like extremes of these things you know like obviously in real life you wouldn't want that you wouldn't like Want, want to be forced to do something, but it, it's not that easy for the royals to just like give up their place. Like we've had it happen before, but those are, that's like a big deal. And and different kingdoms have different judgments around it. And, and like, just because it happened once, like there's so many repercussions that could happen from it. It, it, it just, it's it's not a thing they want to do. Zayori in her mind is like, what am I supposed to do about this? That, that's kind of like the deal with that. Honestly, it looks like a boar is, is getting a, what are you? Bro, are you shy? Oh my god. Wait, did you guys just see that? He did like the anime finger touching. <laughs> Should we take a confess daydream about? Okay, hold on. Wait, I wanna, I wanna, okay. We need to see that. Is there a bench? Because I feel like a boar would try to be secretive about this, you know? Why is there no bench in this park, in this beautiful, beautiful park? There should be a bench for us to sit on and ch Okay, are you serious? <laughs> well, okay, well, we, we've seen the pond. Is there another place we can go? Let, let's, let's find another place here. Here to this park. Let's bring everyone here, yes. Oh my god, this is be- Well, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, well there's definitely places to sit here. This is so beautiful. What is this place? Well, there's a place for Itzel to go on the monkey bars and stuff. Here, okay, so the group's gonna talk. They're at this new place kind of now. Where is there any other sites that the Latoni can show them? Okay, this is, wow, beautiful. Hello, oh my God. Oh my God, is that a lot? That is very, very pretty. Can we do the power walking thing around here? <gasps> we can, okay, walk around park. Walk around park with, you know what? Rin and Gabor might sit or something for a second. Maybe they're tired. Cause I, I want him to, I want him to, I want to see what the progress is here. Uh huh, and Mamie or Minta. Hi, Ganda, not you though. Tozi, Itzel, Eloy, and not Gabor. Where's, oh, oh wait. Okay, this is with Sayori. Okay, Sayori's going on the walk with them. Maybe Rin was like, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Is it okay if I sit down? And Sayori was going to sit with her. And, and then Gabor was like, oh, I, I'm feeling lightheaded too. I'll I'll sit with you. <laughs> okay, sit. And then Gabor is going to sit as well and admit his... I, I want to admit or hint the feelings at least to her. And I'm, I'm so curious how she's going to respond. This crush snuck up on me. This was not on my bingo card, if I'm being very honest. So, I, wait, no, Rin! Come back! <laughs> okay, where was that admit about daydreaming about crush? Civilized remark. Oh, hey, Tozy. She snuck up on her real fast. Wait. Praise beauty, charm. Well, you can't flirt with her in front of your mother. Your mother is also for this, like, you know, possible betrothal. Oh my God, is that Diana and Abraham? They're at a park looking at something together. That's adorable. Wait, I, stop. That's. Wait, are they on like a double date? Okay, this is adorable. Hello. <laughs> okay, Gabor's like, mother, can you please leave? <laughs> Maybe is talking to a random stranger. It's also very outgoing, actually. So I wonder if she kind of is like, wow, this girl's so fun. Like, I like her. This is a lot of fun. Oh my God, Gabor is leaving. He's like, my mother ruined this. <laughs> I was going to tell Rin or like hint or like wanting to get to know her, spend time. He's romantically reserved. So maybe he really wouldn't be that forward. Oh my gosh, they're just intimately dancing, you guys. <laughs> like, all right, I want to do this before we leave. Gabor, please, for the love of God. I need to know where this is going with you and Rin. I need to know. Everyone needs to know. Like, what is, what is it? Maybe she's just not into it, but it doesn't seem like more than friends, honestly. But Gabor's got a crush on her. Oh, hey, Zayori. <laughs> 
Oh, well, don't tell her in front of Zayori. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not, that is, that is not something. I really, I'm sad I missed this whole, like, oh, wait, confess daydream about, wait, don't, okay, don't do it in the bathroom, though. Okay, confess daydream about crush. Okay, all right, okay. He's, he, he's, is he, is he telling her? It, wait. Oh, what? You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made many great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Maybe he didn't tell her yet. Oh my God, you guys, I can't. Okay, honestly, Rin doesn't seem that into it. Maybe Gabor just has a crush on her, which is a bit of a twist. I don't know if he's gonna try to pursue that because it really doesn't seem like anything is working with him and Zayori. I don't know, maybe Zayori like comes up here and is like, oh, Rin's talking to him? Oh my gosh, Sir Thomas Stride and Ariana are also on a date. That's so cute. I love seeing the couples together. I feel like I don't get to see them like together. Usually out and about, they're like single. And I'm like, what are you doing? Where's your spouse? Where's your partner? Are they just home? Okay, maybe Zayori, like, she's feeling happy. Maybe she comes up and... Oh my god, Mamie just gained the mischief skill. Oh no. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. They're they're gaining some sentiments for sh Oh my gosh, no! Okay, but there's... Wait, Rin, why are you yelling? What just happened? Hello? Why can't we all get along? Did she just see Zayori and, and, and Gabor argue a bit and she's like upset about it? Called out from being confronted by- Oh my god, did she just be sassy to Gabor and Rin who was like pretty close with Zayori was like, like called her out on it? I feel like that would make Zayori so- She's embarrassed now. I feel like that would be like, what the hell? You're my- you're my sister. So that's causing some tension in their relationship. Okay, well. Oh, oh no, what is this? What is this? Yell at? What? What a bad joke. And then tense from not enough exercise. She's like, I need to run or punch something. Oh my God, there's so many different dynamics here. Like so many, so much tension going on. We're about to get into like more proposals and wedding, or at least I thought we were because now I don't know what to do about Frenchie and Jessica. So you guys are definitely gonna have to tell me about that. Yeah, we're gonna have some weddings coming up. So we'll, we'll focus on some weddings and proposals for the next episode or so. And then we'll we'll be coming back to Zayori's story and, and seeing more and, and seeing what's gonna happen with Gabor and like all this tension. And is she gonna see Hey Sue again, all of that. So yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. Okay, this one was a hefty episode of insane drama that I was seriously not expecting. <laughs> Would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this episode. This is this is uh, there's a lot going on here for sure. And in the next episode, we might see a very, very anticipated highly anticipated proposal i hope you enjoyed this if you did make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye